Design Challenge 2 by Group 15 We began observation by researching other cardboard chairs and their designs using Google Images. We took account of how the chairs were able to sustain weight with their different features that offered support to their design. We also used YouTube. Our team then began brainstorming for our own unique design, while still taking into account how and why other chairs were successful. We contacted a group member's father who had experience with building cardboard structures able to sustain weight. He said the key to success was use of triangles. We made over a dozen chair designs that fit the criteria. Rapid prototyping allowed us to bring our designs to life. We created the different designs and inspected them for their strengths and weaknesses. We spent multiple days creating prototypes but were able to further our observations using them. A cardboard guru was right about the use of triangles for support, so we decided to carry that design feature into our final model. Next, we put the prototypes into action. We tested to see which type of triangle was the most durable. The models that failed were discarded, but we were able to see what worked and what didn't. We kept in mind that we had to design a chair that could complete its function while using the least amount of cardboard possible. We took the designs that showed optimal performance and began refining them. We worked with the idea that less is more, and after we had created our final model, we deconstructed it to trim 10% off of its surface area. Keeping with the sustainability factor, we made the chair lightweight and easy to ship. Because of the chair's small base and tall height, it was not very stable. To overcome this problem, we added another triangle to the base for more support. This fixed the problem. Our group went down to the local diner to find our 200 pound subjects. We could not record their commentary because it was a Friday night and dorm residents were blaring music. People who used the chair were skeptical about its design since it was made out of cardboard but soon learned that it was very supportive. Test number 3 was able to lean back and kick back on one leg also. We pushed the edge by having a 240 pound football player sit on our chair. Thank you for watching our video about Assignment 2 by Group 15. I hope you enjoyed.